Game three is in the books. Not the way we wanted it to go, but it started the way we wanted it to go. Uh, for Peyton, starting on the bench. Derrick Rose, Taj Gibson getting the start. Nerlens Noel coming off the bench. Energy was high amongst the fan base. Energy was actually pretty high in the game. Back and forth. Really weird start though. We had some technical difficulties in State Farm uh, Arena and it just continued to get worse as the game went on and the Hawks found their touch. Shot after shot. Was it the defense? Was it their offense? We'll talk about that tonight. You know, the big change, like I mentioned at the top, was we finally made <laughs> the, the, the starting lineup shift that everybody wanted. And not only did we just get Derrick Rose, we also got Taj Gibson, who both of them played really well to close out that second half in the last game in game two. Um, so the combination there, you just knew Tom Pitt was going to go with his guys. And I think that was the right move. A lot of people are a little bit worried saying that with taking uh, Derrick Rose out of the second unit, that hurt the second unit. But arguably, I feel like the second unit did okay. But, you know, I, it was just overall just a weird ugly game it felt like like i said we're all going to sit here and talk and and and, and complain and, and sound as if we got beat by 40 and it should feel that way because it's still a playoff game and we're now down 2-1 in a game in a series where we had home court advantage so it's going to feel like a lot De having the situation that we had where rj barrett couldn't get it together julius randall was trying his best but could not find the damn uh <laughs> find the damn net um, and to only lose this game by 11, like I said, there's some wishful thinking in that that uh, hopefully some people will see. But, um, you know, Alec Burks wasn't the heroics haven't showed up since game one. Um, you know, <laughs> Nerlens Noel was game beat up all over the court and you can tell he's just not 100 percent. There's a lot of things that we can mention. But, but specifically, I do want to talk about Derrick Rose. I want to hear your thoughts on Derrick Rose. I mean, I, I'm hoping I'm hoping the team, his teammates, uh, you know, look at that performance mm -hmm. and, and I hope that, you know, they get, they, they learn something out of that in terms of perseverance and, and showing up, right. you know, and playing in the big moment, not allowing the moment to get to them. And I hope that inspires them for game four, because at the end of the day, um, we're going to need to bounce back if we're going to go to the garden, you know, two, two. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it's, he's adding to what has been an amazing story this year um, he was very close to winning sixth man of the year. Jordan so Clarkson cool. deservedly won the award. And now that we're down to one, we're going to need to win one in Atlanta, at least to win this series. It looks like, and he went three of five today from three, 13 of 21, mm. 30 points, five or six, uh, five assists, six rebounds played 39 minutes. You know, it's a concern to all of us, but he did mention on his post game after game two, that. You know, he understands that many are concerned about the minutes that he may play, but he has worked extensively in preparing for this moment. So is that a player saying that because he just has to because he's going to play minutes or has there been some true work behind that? Well, mm -hmm. if you look at the performance today, right, and then you look at the performance last game, it's trending more towards he's prepared for this moment. He's actually worked hard to have the endurance and, 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 you know, and have the strength to, to withstand this many minutes. For the first time in a long time, even though the, the officiating tonight was kind of wonky, in my opinion, both ways, not even just for us. For the first time in a long time, we, we, had, we held the differential in free throws. Uh, you know, they, especially after seeing how last game went with the free throw uh, differential, we uh, took a total of 30 free throws to their, what, eight for the game? Plus 22. Isn't that crazy? And still lost this game by 11 points. And that just showed how, and we could talk about the percentages from the field because that was probably the bigger thing. They just showed how weird this game was because you don't often see that in the NBA. Uh, I'm not trying to make excuses for the referees. That's that's uh, just us just not playing well. You know, I, I, I said it many times. I said that after game one, you saw us uh, make that adjustment in the second half of the last game. But you know, for me, I, I, the offense was ugly. I think we all going to agree with that. But for me, I feel like this team, for whatever reason, it's like they don't know how to play out of order. If their defense isn't there one night, it's not like, all right, well, we can still play offense. No. If the defense is not there, then they're just, they don't know what to do offensively. I don't know how the two um, connect in their minds, but until the defense clicks, 
then the offense clicks. And tonight it felt like the Knicks never really clicked consistently on the defensive end. Look, I'm obviously frustrated. You know, you want to win every game. Uh, But it is a a series at the end of the day. Um, But the concerning thing is that our guy, our all-star, for three Mm -hmm. games in a row just hasn't had it going. And if he doesn't have it going, it's going to be a long series, man. You know, Derrick Rose, salute to him. He's been the best player on the court this whole series on both teams. And, again, a 30-point performance. He came in, started, and he gave us everything that we needed. But Julius still has to be the guy. You know what I mean? And and if you factor in, you know, him and RJ going 4 for 24 from the field, Burks not being on the money off the bench, IQ as well, you know, there's just, just no offense. Just – just naturally us being in Atlanta, you would expect their role players are going to take it up a notch. You know, they have a lot of firepower, man. And so, you know, the Herders, the Collins, the the Bogdanovich and, and Gallinari, who was bricking away in Madison Square Garden, they all stepped it up in, in their building. And so it was just a matter of could we keep up with their offensive firepower? And tonight we just couldn't. And for Rose was there, but for everyone else... I think it was 16 of 60. That's just not going to get it done, man. That's just not going to get it done. You're not beating anybody in, in the regular season, much less the playoffs. And so uh, it's a concern. You know, you definitely want Julius to step up and, and be that guy, be the all-star, make better decisions. Uh, as JD said when I came on, you know, the Hawks game plan hasn't changed. We, we just haven't been able to execute against it. And, and RJ himself, RJ had a ton of wide open looks in this game. He just didn't make it. Yeah. You know, Hawks, conversely, they had a ton of open looks going to the close in the second game. They missed their shots. This game, they made them. You know, we've got to be better protecting at, at guarding the three-point line as well. And we just didn't do it tonight, man. Hawks were like almost over 50% from three. It, it's going to be hard to stop that team. Almost like 60% that. from three. You know, and obviously game four is a must win for us. But it starts and ends with Julius, man. He's got to be better. And, and, you know, I, I forgot who it was that made that point that, you know, a lot of this season, he's made a lot of bad shots. He's been a bad shot shooter. And we have seen that in the regular season. Um, now, in this postseason against the Hawks, he's bricking a lot of them, you know. And he did get to the line. He got to the line eight times. And, and uh, the Knicks did get to the line quite a bit, more than the Hawks. The Hawks only shot eight free throws in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it just, it, it's his timing wasn't right. His rhythm wasn't there. And again, two for fifteen is not just not going to get it done. Two for two for seven from the three point line is not going to get it done. Nope. Um, RJ as well just just wasn't good. And so, um, you know, it, it's hard to keep up with a high octane offense like the Hawks when when our offense just can't keep up like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, Trey had his night. That's all. You know what I'm saying? But listen, y'all people in the, in the whole world, y'all acting like it's three forty five on PM Sunday. That won't game four. You know what I'm saying? We got another game. Y'all act like we can't respond. Y'all act like we can't answer. Y'all act like we don't know how to come back and have a bad game. Them guys know how to do all that. You know what I'm saying? That's they, they, Atlanta did what they supposed to have done. They supposed to the whole court the first game. That's something we didn't do in our first game. But we responded. We had to answer the game too. You know what I'm saying? I don't look for them to be able to do that same thing. They played their best game tonight, man. All the way across the board. They shot lights out. Dude had 14 assists. He had over 20 points. You know what I'm saying? Every Everybody was skyrocketing on, on the Atlanta Hawk team. And we only lost by 11 points, man. Stop it, man. Stop the madness, man. It's all right, man. Be easy, man. We ain't going to be acting like we're in that questioning room and somebody behind that black window start pointing fingers at somebody, man. Stop that. I'm talking to the whole world, everybody, man. Stop that, man. Believe and have faith, man. We got here this far. A lot of y'all ain't even had the faith to get, to get us here this far, man. Just be easy, man. Wait till Sunday at 1 o'clock, man. And when you go to the pool, when you go to the pool, you know. It's already 105 degrees. You still put your hand in there to test the water, or you put your feet in there to test the water. Then you jump in. That's what we did. Game one, we put our hand in there to test the water. Game two, we jumped in. Now game three came. We put our feet in there to test the water. Game four, go club. We gonna jump in, man. Everybody be easy, man. Matter of fact, I'm leaving first thing in the morning. I'm gonna show y'all to come down and get it rather. I'm gonna yell from anywhere. I'm gonna get. I'm trying to do anything I can to get my team motivated and pumped up. But just because we took this little small L, we acting like the season is over. Man, people walking around with their head down. Hold your head up, man. Be happy and supportive, man, for the whole year that we don't have, man. This is a learning situation. This is a growing situation. It's gonna always be pain, you know what I'm saying? Until you deliver and get it up off your back. None of them guys know how to play in the playoffs. 
but Derrick Rose. You know what I'm saying? That's the only one that know how to play in this situation. Give me time. So, you know what I'm saying? The other guys, they got to learn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know you know, some people will say, well, Atlanta Hawks, they ain't play. You know what I'm saying? They ain't play. They different type people. We got problems with scoring. They got scores. You know what I'm saying? So, we, we got, we just, when we ain't scoring, it shows that we not a scoring team. But our defense got to continue on playing. And I believe Reggie Bullock just set a tone at the end of the game when he got up in that dude's face. He reminded me of a dude that, that's getting ready to get jumped to beat up. He want to holler at his home but Yo, y'all with me? We're all pointing all up in the crowd. We know they ain't with you, man. We know what time is going to be game four. And I appreciate Reggie getting up in that man grip. Somebody got to set another tone, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to set a tone all across the internet. Y'all be easy, man. Game four is coming, man. Go out and party, man. Go find who we is and hang out with Get some pepper or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do to have some fun tonight, you know what I'm saying? And don't walk around with your head down. Just know this game four is coming, man. And we got to respond and answer, man. God bless you all. Stay healthy and safe, man. Thank you.